Okay, today's class is going to be via video. This is February 20th, and I'm going to be covering, I feel kind of rough with sinus drainage, I'm going to be covering inequalities. And I'm out of sequence in equalities with the syllabus because I'm going to teach you inequalities and equations directly after the section on equations. That way you don't forget it. I think this is 6.5, something like that. Um, because we're dealing with equations and we just got finished with an introduction to equations. So I figure I'd teach this, uh, I always teach this right after right after my equation section, which is uh, 6.3, I usually jump to this section, which is 6.5, because it's a continuation of equations. Um, in the last section, 6.3, you were taught how to do 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, and you were taught to get the variable by itself, 2x is equal to and divide by 2 and x is equal to 2. Now this means, this right here, means that if you plug 2 into the original equation, 2 times 2 plus 3 is equal to 7 and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and 7 is equal to 7. So this is the solution. Is there another solution? No. Is this the only solution? Yes. Okay. Now when we're talking about equations, you're talking about this guy right here. Equation means equal. And that means that this number, 2, is the only number, the only number that will give you 7. Okay. The only number. So, What's well, inequalities? Well, inequalities, instead of an equal sign, you have these different signs. You have these two signs, or you have these two signs. Okay? And it all depends on where they are in the mathematical sentence as to what they mean. So I don't sit there and call this one, this one, and this one, this one, and call it. I don't do that. These two... When you're dealing with these two, and this is very important, so I'm going to put it in red. When you're dealing with these two guys, I lost my red marker. There it is. Well, magenta. When you're dealing with these two guys, you're going to be dealing with open circles. You're going to be dealing with parentheses. Or you're going to be dealing with a dashed line if you're graphing on a graph like a two-dimensional graph. These two guys, if you're dealing with these two guys, you're going to be dealing with a closed circle, not a dot, but a closed circle, brackets, and a solid line. Now, it's very important that you remember these things. So you need to highlight this, pause the video and highlight this, and memorize this because it's going to help you understand how to write the answers in interval notation, how to write it in set builder notation because of this rule right here. So please don't be like some students and I show them this rule and I tell them learn this rule and then the next class I go over problems and they go how did you know to put brackets there? How did you know to put parentheses there? How did you know to put open circle there? And I just look at them like you didn't follow directions. Okay, so make sure you learn that rule. Now, when you're dealing with the inequality equation, you need to hold on just a second. I'm sorry, I had to answer a phone call. I hope I paused it correctly. All right. 
So, as I said, you have to know those two things about the inequalities. And basically, everything is done the same as far as solving the equalities. Let's go with 2x plus 3 is equal to 7. Now, that's the problem we had with equalities. Now, with the inequality, 2x plus 3 is greater than 7. Now, notice I said greater than that time. Because now I have a context of what this says. Um, hold on a second. This, this thing is not doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be there. Autofocus. Um, I could have 7 is less than 2x plus 3. So, it all depends on how you're reading it. Um, if I give you the word cat, and I don't give you anything else, you can't understand what I'm talking about. You know that I'm talking about a cat, but you don't know if the cat ran, if the cat got run over, if the cat is eating too much. You don't know what the sentence is saying. Well, if I just give you this, you don't know which one's which. It all depends on the sentence that it's in. So I don't like teachers saying that this is less than or this is greater than. Well, this is less than. 7 is less than 4. Or I could say, or I'm sorry, 7 is less than 14. Or I could say 14 is greater than 7. See what I'm saying? Or I could say 14 is greater than 7 right here, and 7 is less than 14. It all goes back to Jody and Susie. Remember me talking about this? If you take your daughter and son, Jody's the son and Susie's the daughter, and you take them to a park in Anderson, and Jody sits on the left-hand side of the seesaw, does he have to sit on the left-hand side of the seesaw if he goes to a park in Star? No. So this left hand, right hand thing that has been programmed into students is not correct. Remember, you have two objectives in algebra. To keep the variable positive and to keep it and to get it by itself. So 2x plus 3 is greater than 7. And I'm going to subtract 3, subtract 3. 2x is greater than 4. And divide by 2, just like you learned, and x is greater than 2. Now, this means that this is not a solution, but a solution set. <clears throat> in other words, there's a, there's a bunch of numbers that will work in this problem. Now, what I tell students to do is graph it, because if you graph it, it makes more sense. And 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And I'm going to take my handy-dandy magenta marker, and I'm going to put a open circle at 2. Well, Hubert, why'd you put open circle? Because it's with this symbol. Open circle. That's why you got to learn this. And which numbers are greater than 2. Everything to the what? Everything to the right. Now, this arrowhead is called negative infinity. This arrowhead is called positive infinity. So if I wanted to write this, there's two different ways you can write this, and you're going to learn this now. One way to write it is called set builder notation. And you need to recognize this. This is homework and test questions. Set builder notation is really pretty easy. You just draw two braces. And you put x such that. And then you write your answer. x is greater than 2. That's it. That's how you do set builder notation. 
interval notation, which is used the most, I think, and I use it the most because I like it, is reading the number line from left to right. Reading the number line, when do we hit our function or when do we hit our solution set? Boom, we hit it at two. And what does it go to? Infinity. Infinity always gets a parentheses. Negative infinity and positive infinity always get parentheses. And this two gets a parenthesis. Why? Learn this rule. Learn this rule. And that's your answer. And that's how you do inequalities. Let's do a nerding. Two X plus three is greater than four X minus seven. Okay, smallest bucket. Take it across the river. Three is greater than two X minus seven. Cross the river. And x, divided by 2, x is less than 5. And we get a open circle. And what numbers are less than 5? All these numbers. And this is negative infinity. So, interval notation, or set builder notation, is... Oops, sorry. Set builder notation would be x such that x is less than 5. Interval notation would be negative infinity to 5. And that's your answers on that one. Now, what does this mean? Well, pick a number in any of the shaded area. 0. Plug it in. 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Is 3 greater than negative 7? Yes. So any number you pick in this shaded area and beyond will work in the solution or the inequality. All right, let's try another one. And again, use the same rules as you would with... The equations that you learned in 5.6.3. Um, negative 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2x plus 7. Okay, smallest bucket goes across the river. Two minus seven is negative five. And X is less than or equal to negative five sevenths. Zero, one, two, negative one, negative two. <laughs> five sevenths is gonna be around a half. Uh, you can do the math however you want to, but do it in a calculator. But 4 eighths is a half. 5 sevenths is a little bit closer to a whole, so I'd say it's a little bit over a half. So it's right in here. Negative, negative, be right in here somewhere. 
And what kind of circle does it get? It gets a closed circle. Now, what numbers are less than or equal to negative 5 sevenths? Everything to the what? Everything to the left. And, of course, that's negative infinity. Oops. So, set builder notation would be braces, braces, x such that x is less than or equal to negative 5 sevenths. Interval notation would be negative infinity to 5 sevenths, negative 5 sevenths, and it gets a bracket, and that gets a parenthesis. And the reason it gets a bracket, learn, 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 bracket, bracket, Learn, learn, learn. Okay, so what are you doing differently in five point or six point five that you learned in six point three? The only thing different that you're learning is right here. That's it. That's the only thing because this, all this is five six point three. Learning how to solve equations. You apply the same rules that you learned in 6.3 to this. The only thing new, graph it, write it in set builder notation, and write it in interval notation. And that's basically 6.5 or whatever section is inequalities. Okay? There is one other thing I'd like to show you. And you can add this to your rules. Is that sometimes your directions will say, and I don't care too much for this type of question, but I'm going to show you so you won't get confused. Sometimes the direction are going to say real numbers. And real numbers consist of fractions, decimals, and percents and whole numbers okay so that's why you shade shade the number line and you shade the arrowhead and you put a a closed circle or open circle depending on what that's real numbers that means all the numbers between one and two between three and four the decimals and the and the fractions and the whole numbers but sometimes the directions are going to say integers. And when it says integers, you're talking about just whole numbers. And when it says whole numbers, you can't shade between the whole numbers. You have to use dots on the whole numbers like this. So this was a number line. And let's say this is... 0, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and the arrow right here. Then all whole numbers would be dot, 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 and then you put three dots right here. And then it would be all whole numbers. You can't shade the insides because it's all whole numbers. So those are two distinctions. Look at your directions. Most of the time it's going to be this. But there will be a few questions, a few like integers, and instead of a shade, the answers are going to be multiple choice. They'll have dots. And you need to remember that also because there will be a couple of homework questions, and you'll think the answer is a shade, but it comes out to be dots. It's still the same type numbers, but you can't include the decimals and and fractions that are in between the two numbers when it says integers. Okay? So work on that homework for inequalities, and I will see you Wednesday.